Good morning and welcome to My Left Ear. Uh, it is March 3rd, 2024, and I'm calling this video uh, the Supreme Court Edition because I'm focusing in on that matter. Um, any information you may need on me, whether you need a price list, you want to email me or even text me, all the information is below. All I ask is that if you enjoy this, please like it and subscribe. That helps. Now we're for entertainment purposes only here. And uh, here we go. So right now, this is where we're at with all the Trump um, indictments, trials, blah, 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 blah. Just a list, that's all I'm doing. Um, we have Fannie Willis, you know, being investigated right now, but uh, that she's, I'm, she's gonna stay on that uh, case. And then uh, the scheduling will be will be an issue because she's saying her case could take a really long time. I don't remember the time they said. Um, then for sure, in New York, we have the Alvin Bragg case, um, which is criminal, which is exciting. Um, and you know they they were calling it the Stormy Daniels case, but really it's bigger. It's about election interference and I guess fraud. Uh, and Stormy Daniels, Samuel's uh, involvement with the Mad Cow is, par is part of this. And that's March 25th, so that's really close. That's going to be watched like, oh my God. Um, now the DC case, which is um, people are, are assigning it to Jack Smith and Judge uh, Chutkin, uh, we're waiting on this immunity thing. And that's what we're talking going to talk about today. This... Uh, big difficult decision by the Supreme Court whether a president should have immunity to kill his enemies. I mean, that's, you know, that's what he's been talking about. So, you know, to me, it's a sitcom, but I'll get to that in a few minutes. Uh, but, but a very sad one, by the way. But it's just if Norman Lear, all right, we'll get to this in a minute. Then we have fraud, which has already happened. And uh, Trump is in it for like what, um, like a half a billion dollars or something like that. And uh, it, it accrues interest every day, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, it looks like his buildings are gonna be, they're gonna start taking his buildings and his assets away. Um, Trish is just, uh, the AG in New York, she's just uh, like hungry to begin taking his name off of buildings and removing, and I guess Trump Tower is going to be first. Um, and then E. Jean Carroll, which he has to, he has only so much he has to pay her $84 million. He did not, I do not think, and I have to check on this, uh, that he put up the bond in order to challenge E. Jean Smith. So he just has to come forth and pay for her. All right. Now, all that said, the day after this announcement, uh, that the Supreme Court made the decision they're going to take the immunity. Like, you know, everybody raved about the D.C. Uh, Circuit Court of Appeals writing this masterful uh, response to immunity. Just everybody said it was masterful. But evidently that wasn't good enough. And, uh, you know, the, the, the Supreme Court, four, it had to be four people, uh, said, oh, no, 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 we, ne we need to examine this immunity. As if it's an issue, right? All right, so the day after, I'm just going to give you a feeling for what was going on on Twitter a little bit. If I can read this without my glass, my eyes are fuzzy today. Um, did, now, David Roth, cough, <laughs> hard to say. Um, I've quoted him before. I like him very much. Is an American foreign policy, national security, and political affairs analyst and commentator. Uh, and he's also a columnist for the Daily Beast and much, much more than what I'm mentioning here. So he wrote, I woke up this morning nauseous, thinking about the corruption at the heart of yesterday's Supreme Court decision. Uh, we like to comfort ourselves, our institutions are working, but no, no, they are not. This is what he said. And first thing yesterday was now famous attorney, professor, former FBI attorney, Andrew Weissman, now author, uh, 
he just wrote, they have given him the win. They've given Donald Trump the win in the extension um, that now they're going to put off this DC case even further. Uh, but I have things to say about this, so don't go away because I think there's some interesting things going on here. Um, so the, 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 you mean the Supreme Court is taking this immunity case on April 22nd and then they get to go away on vacation or their break or whatever it is, I think at the end of June, and they don't really have to come back with an answer until they leave. And a lot of people think they're not gonna come back with an answer fast. They're in no hurry. They could have done this quickly, knowing that citizens who vote are waiting for information, legal information on uh, Donald Trump, but they didn't. And uh, it leaves, you know, us, <laughs> Democrats, um, only to assume this was very uh, done on purpose uh, with an agenda and it looks really bad because the Supreme Court is just so right and not correct. Uh, their job is to be correct, not to the right. Um, but as I mentioned before briefly, I thought, you know, this, this whole idea that there would be a conversation about immunity for this human being that ends up president. It's like a sitcom, really. It's a huge satire, but it's ugly and it's dark and it's, you know, it goes in a direction. So they're not going to be able to give him immunity. Pretty much everybody agrees on that. But, but he's being aided and abetted in um, delay, delay, delay. All right. And then I came up with a book title. I'm not gonna write it, but I think someone should write it. Think of, th what do you think about this book title? The Audacity of Immunity. Isn't that a great book title? Listen, you know, I am psychic long distance, so maybe someone's writing it already and it's gonna come out. Um, now the, the humorous side of it, when people started asking me, I said, well, the first thing I'm thinking of is how dogs sniff around trees and if another dog has been there they pee on the tree so it feels like the uh supreme court among many things is peeing on the tree they don't want the circuit court to be uh that powerful um and that brilliant which they have been uh the other dark part of this is a possibility that there's all this cronyism going on and they do not want to get Ginny thomas Clarence Thomas's wife in trouble. So he's not going to recuse because it's going to make his wife look guilty. And he's stubborn and he's hateful and he always votes for the wrong things. Clarence Thomas, horrible. But there could be this little like, well, let's just hands off, hands off. Uh, we don't want to get Ginny, you know, the spotlight on Ginny. But uh, my left ear believes that uh, Jack Smith is going to get Ginny Thomas. Her day is coming. Too obvious, too big in the news. It's coming. Uh, so Supreme Court wants justice delayed. That's what we get to. Now, I, here's a rune, all right? I did a couple of runes today, and it's very interesting. Um, so I asked, will the D.C. trial, that's Judge Chutkin, proceed before the election? I've got a lot to say here uh, beyond the runes. So the first one I got was Warrior, um, and it's about funding a will through action, unattached to the outcome, which is very zen. Do the action because it's the right thing to do. Uh, it, it recommends to let the will of heaven flow through you. Just keep working, knowing that what we're doing is right. Um, it embodies uh, the energy of discrimination, a sword-like quality that enables one, to cut away the old, the dead, and the extraneous, and that surely feels like Jack Smith, all right? He, he really feels like that warrior. And remember, he's like a brilliant triathlon. That's a, that's a special kind of person, by the way, who has this focus, this endurance. That's Jack Smith. That's the one thing Garland did really well. Um, so patience is the virtue here. Um, be aware that the universe always has the first move. Uh, so when this comes up, 
uh, an issue about an issue or a relationship, but I'm saying an issue, it indicates that the relationship is timely. Like this is, you know, this brings up that Latin phrase, I love, amor fati, which is the love of fate, Latin. It goes all the way back. The Stoics use it, and I use it um, because I find it very calming. The, the philosophy is love of fate. So this was so big what happened with, this, with the Supreme Court. Not, not everybody's going to want to hear me say this, but uh, it's somehow faded. It was somehow meant to be as painful as it is. Plus, I will tell you that my left ear a long time ago said, listen, Biden's going to win, but it's going to be really kind of awful getting there. Like just awful. Do not expect a smooth ride at all. And this is an example of what I was talking about. I mean, this is an example. It's not going to be smooth. We're going to be up and down. So it's, you know, I just want to say it's important for us to take care of ourselves. You know, stretch, meditate, eat some good food, watch a funny movie, get away from it, and then go back to it. We really do need to do that to stay strong. Um, so this is an urge towards a lifelong pursuit, uh, single-mindedness, and the willingness to undergo the passion of trust. And that, you know, that's just Jack Smith. Um, perseverance is key. That's Jack Smith. Um, so then I got growth which is so positive, growth represents a form of fertility, fosters growth symbolically and actually, literally. It's about blossoming and ripening. That's justice, that's the justice. Dark corners must be cleansed out. Okay, good news, good rune, and then the rune of fertility. New beginnings, harmonizing, completions and beginnings. Aha, a time of joyful deliverance. So believe it or not, just believe it or not, the runes are telling me Chutkin's gonna get in there uh, before the election. And if it's right before the election, I have things to share with you about that that are legal and very, very important. So, um, and then I'm throwing in a quote by Einstein that you've heard before, but this is one of the moments for the quote to, and it was, Albert Einstein. So uh, Einstein wrote a letter to his son that said, and this is right around the McCarthy era, era where they were going after innocent people for being communists. He says, there's something amazing about America's democracy. It's got a gyroscope. And just when you think it's going to go off the cliff, it writes itself. And I'm telling you, that is the quote of our life right now. Now, it takes me into this 60-day rule about there can be no trials two months before an election. Well, that's that's not a law. <laughs> that's just a recommendation. There's no legal basis for it. And Mark Elias, who you may have heard of, he's so brilliant, uh, nationally recognized authority and expert in campaign finance, voting rights, redistricting laws and litigation. I mean, the guy is. So he wrote, I think as of today, there is no reason Trump can't stand trial in September. There is no reason Trump can't stand trial in October. There is no reason Trump can't be in trial on election day. Because there is no constitutional right to avoid trial because you are running for office. Oh my God, you know, play that over and over. It's, and it aligns with the runes too. So uh, now Aileen Cannon brought up this whole thing about the 60 day rule, not realizing it's not law. And um, Andrew Weissman pointed this out that she decided to talk about the so-called 60 day rule but the depart the DOJ uh, uh, was very surprised uh, that she brought it up. Um, and Jack Smith evidently had to educate her that it's like irrelevant and it's meaningless, uh, which is pretty damn embarrassing. Um, it's just an internal guide to the department. And what it is is you can't start a new indictment uh, uh, towards like, let's say a 
presidential um, candidate that's brand new. But if it's already begun legally, it may continue. That's the difference. And everything has begun prior in terms of Trump. That's why this, I don't know, it tells me a lot. Um, it, it, uh, it doesn't apply to cases where there has already been an indictment or is in the process of being litigated. So Weissman said simply doesn't apply, folks. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't know why that's not being blasted everywhere, but, it, but at least um, Mark Elias put that out there. And um, I did ask, will there be one or two trials before November, and that's aside from the New York Bragg uh, interference, Stormy Daniels. So I got the blank rune, which is always interesting. Blank is the end, blank is the beginning, makes sense. The end of Trump, the beginning of justice, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Um, it's a total trust rune uh, to be taken as exciting. Exciting evidence, you know that word, I love that word, of your true destiny, which rises, let, let's just think about this, the American experiment rises like the phoenix from the ashes of what is called fate. That's the, dis, that's the democracy, the destiny, rises, okay? Um, and it portends a symbolic death. Well, you know, interesting. So within the blankness is undiluted potential. It doesn't exactly answer uh, my question, um, but there are forces moving that are unseen in the background. I think that's the most important one of this room. It's the blank is the end, blank is the beginning. I think that's a really good sign. And that the forces um, of unseen things going on are in the background operating. You can almost feel it if you just sit quiet. Um, so it does represent the highest possibilities of the human endeavor. That's, no, I didn't say Denver, endeavor. <laughs> That's really positive, okay? So I'm picking out, then I got strength, strength, uh, the wild ox, the Viking ox, an animal known for its recalcitrance. Uh, and it's massive strength when put to good use. So maybe that's our justice system, is the Viking ox, and we're putting it to good use. Um, and it says one can count on sufficient strength to carry out all that is proposed. Yes, fist pump, okay? Um, it also means that you are experiencing a time of change. Yes, we are. And you need the courage and audacity to venture into these experiences. Um, there may be something for us to sacrifice. Uh, we always do in a time of change. I wouldn't let that scare you, uh, to be honest with you. We'll know more as a little more time goes on. I mean, I'm hitting this right when it came up and then I got breakthrough. Breakthrough. Um, breakthrough is the name of my hypnosis business. Breakthrough hypnosis. So I like that. I like that term. It signals a major shift or breakthrough breakthrough in the process of self change and complete transformation. Um, so it is a radical, but it's good because it's not a uh, upside down or reversed. It does bring the warmth of the sun. Now that would not come through if Trump was going to win and achieve his goals. Um, so illuminating the true inner self, it speaks of prosperity. Uh, and I'm just going to go to the tweet because I discovered something that if my YouTubes are a little bit shorter, I can get them uploaded and to uh, YouTube faster. So there's kind of a good reason for it. But I'll tell you last thing, good evidence. Um, you know, Bill Palmer, I, I quote him from tweet all the time. Um, he's so excellent. And he writes, 
40% of Republicans didn't vote for Trump in South Carolina. Of those, 60% say they won't back him in the general election. Um, these numbers should scare the hell out of Trump and every known down ball ballot Republican. So what does it mean? It means a win for the Democrats. This is what he writes. This is why Donald Trump is not going to win. Add to that the likely fact that he will be a convicted felon before the election. Um, so supports what I've been saying, you know, a long time ago, I pulled those runes by myself alone in my living room. Okay, let's just do this. And I got win, 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 win. Every single rune about Biden was winning. And so keep that in mind because that megaphone of doubt and sort of poisonous and what if, and people are making money writing books. Just keep that in mind. They have a benefit. I just want you to protect yourself. You know, just protect yourself because, you know, I hate to sound cynical, but everybody's making money. <laughs> And keep that in mind. That's different from like the truth. And they're really having a good time talking about the what ifs and how dangerous it is. When I think privately, they all know Biden's going to win. So that's my, I'm putting myself into the mix. Here's your quote. Very simple, very appropriate. Martin Luther King Jr. said, Justice too long delayed is justice denied. But from everything I can tell, we may be exhausted, disgusted, and we're still going to have some good outcomes. But like I said before any of this, uh, be prepared for a very bumpy ride. It's not going to go smoothly. It never does. And it need to be aware of that. It's very much like... Um, the Stoic philosophy, uh, they believe you've got to think about, well, what if we don't sign the ultimate agreement for the corporation, then what? And so it's good for us to be aware, but don't live there because it's a recipe for an ulcer. And um, I'll just tell you, this necklace uh, was made by a woman named Minda Burr, and she's on the internet, B-U-R-R. -R. She's a distant relative relative of Aaron Burr. Um, she's a Democrat. And uh, this is made by Carol, uh, my gifted friend and my left ear. Uh, and it's a two-parter, you can tell. And so what I'm, why I'm telling you this, because someone say, oh, I really like that. I'm wearing it with like a $9 t-shirt from Target. And I, for some reason, I thought you'd appreciate that. It's like, I need to dress up this t-shirt. I'm so comfortable today. So this is what I did compliments of two really talented friends that I have. So thank you. And um, thank you for watching, listening, uh, sending me messages. Love that. And here we go. I'm going to upload it right now. Have a good weekend.